gang, um, I'm going to do another question today, and this one's actually from a family friend whose name is Donna. Baron? 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 I, I don't remember how to say that. Wallace? I know that I know that one, but I don't know the... Roni? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> I remember at your wedding you corrected someone on it, and I can't remember what you said it was. I feel bad. Um... So her question is, um, what happened that made you finally decide on your gender change? Um, love you, just asking about the epi epiphany you must have had. Um, well, it was around my birthday last year that I was thinking a lot about what was going on in my life. Um, I just got out of a, my, I just got out of a long relationship, and it turned sour, and, um, I really felt down, and I can't really tell you, well, I, I the feeling I had was interesting, I can't really grab, I can't really ever put in the words the way the feeling was, because it was something that was more or less just there. Um, growing up, I was always told that I was special. Well, I never knew what it was until, ta -da. um, the thing that I guess I could say the most thing that I wanted in my entire life was to feel comfortable in my body. I never felt comfortable in my body until I had decided to do things like this. I feel more comfortable with myself every day than I have my entire life in this past year. And I can't ever really, I, I don't think I can really say that I ever would ever want to change because, oh, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> because I'm happy and I've, I'm the happiest I've been in my life. And it's just how it goes, I guess. W what really happened was when I was younger, I had first met a transgender and started dating when we were 14. Um, I liked her a lot. Uh, actually, I could say I probably loved her. And I miss her a lot. And I talk to her every once in a while, but it's few and far between. But she's another person in my life that helped me along the way. And then my last ex who is a bastard, um, it's a fun story, um, you know, it's what it is, they, they were transgender, and we were talking about it, and I always wanted to know more about myself, so I'd always ask questions, and I always ask questions and ask questions to everybody who was more educated in the field than I was. And we actually finally went and got chromosome testing done on my blood and my DNA and realized that I was actually born with an extra set of chromosomes. XYX is what I am. Uh, is it XXY? I think it's XXY. I can't remember. I have the paper in front of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I think it's one of those two. And that's just what it is. And so when I came home, I decided that I would go ahead and have this change. So what happened was the day after or the day of my birthday of last year, my 21st, I finally decided that I was going to do something to better myself because I felt so down, so distraught and so destroyed that I couldn't help it. So I decided that on... December 1st, I would pursue something that I uh, would at that point deem bigger than myself, and sometimes I do deem it bigger than myself still. And here we are. You know, we're looking at almost 10 months down the road, <laughs> and it's been the biggest change ever, but the best. So, 
it was the fact that I needed something positive in my life something that I wanted to do for the longest time to do so I did and I'm happily happy and I'm not looking back so I hopefully that answers your question and thank you for asking the question I do enjoy these and you have a great great day everybody and live as free as your hair bye